Hey creators, welcome back to my channel and today I will be showing you guys how I created this thrasher themed look on my eyes. It's super easy. I'm going to teach you guys how to do it so you can do it too. So first things first, you want to start off and prep your eyes. I am using the Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on a blending brush and I'm just going to apply it onto my eyes as directed. This is really good to stop creasing and it keeps your makeup on for 24 hours. Just as it says, you see I'm just going in blending, blending, making sure that I'm really hitting every single area of my eyelid because I know I got like wrinkly eyes. Now I'm going in with the Morphe 350 palette. I'm sorry guys, I would give you the names of these colors, but they're not on the back. But I'm just starting off with like a white base since I am darker skin. I do want the bright colors that I'm using to be more pigmented. So that's why I'm just starting off with this white base. I'm going to get it all over. I actually am going to add a little bit more. You want to make sure you just cover that entire eyelid. As directed, you do want to get underneath the eyebrow as well, just to transition that concealer into the eye. Now I am going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And to start off, this beautiful orange that I'm using is called Hunts. And I'm just putting that on a flathead brush because it makes the colors more pigmented, I found, when I just apply it on a flathead brush. The brush was a little damp just to really hold those colors. And I'm just applying it as so. Since I am going to do like a wing type eyeshadow look, I am going to apply it in a wing motion. So I'm going to bring the eyeshadow from the inner corners of my eyes out past my eye as well and you guys are gonna see how I did that so after I put the color hunts from the Jaclyn Hill palette you guys are gonna see how I blend just going in and really applying that color like I said you want it to be really pigmented when you think of thrasher you think of like blues yellows kind of like fire so you're just gonna go ahead and apply as directed and now I'm going with my brush I'm gonna blend it out just a little bit just so it doesn't look super choppy now I'm going in with my blending brush you can see how I'm just blending that out I don't want to spend too much time on that but you guys get the gist now I'm going in with the color Jax this is still the Jaclyn Hill palette guys this was like a darker orangey red kind of color just to really bring out that orange and also when I cut the crease in um after I cut the crease it's gonna make the colors pop even more and it's gonna make it a little darker so I was still trying to figure out what I was doing at that point but now I am using the back to Brazil palette this palette is really good it's really pigmented I will say and it's good for as in like a cheaper brand that you would just you know if you want some pigmented bright colors I think it's really good as far as like something that's really affordable now you guys can see me I'm taking that yellow I actually mix two yellows kind of like a uh, burnt yellow and a really bright yellow together to make that color now it's not popping up too much but it works because it's kind of like a sunset on my eyes and I am just gonna blend it out and I do just need some transition colors so my foundation sorry so my eyeshadow doesn't look so choppy you guys can see I'm just really blending it out like you guys when you guys attempt to do this look I recommend that you blend for your life like just keep blending until you can't blend anymore just keep on blending because it's totally worth it and I actually did go back into the eyes with a darker orange well with a brighter orange that is in the back to Brazil palette now you guys can actually see that I'm going in with my blue because I did have on a navy blue thrasher shirt that day this is the cream eyeshadow which I thought was amazing the texture was great it's by the company Mali if you guys have ever heard of Mali you should definitely check them out because it's a really good brand it's one of the prestige brands you can find it at Ulta um, I'm not sure if you can find it at Sephora but this was a dark blue I believe it was called cobalt 
but it was a really 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 nice blue and you see I'm just applying some more just so it's really dark because I know once I start to blend it out it's not gonna be as dark as I wanted it to be or as I originally had put it on so you do want to make sure it's dark but you also do want to get you a nice firm but soft bristle brush to go ahead and just smudge that out that would take too long since it's cream to use a blending brush so you have to use something with a little more girth and you got to get that um, smudge brush and you just smudge it all out you want to really smudge it into that orange too because you do not want it to look choppy so go ahead and keep on blending keep on blending also it depends guys if you just have to blend to your desired wants see what kind of look you're going for and really base it off that also don't mind the white stuff in my hair it's edge control I use it because it has good hold but that stuff be turning white so if y'all got any recommendations on edge control leave a comment so I can go ahead so and try at this it out. point guys now that we have that blue cream shadow on our eyes we really just want to keep on blending until we get that desired look we want the shadows to look like they are blending into each other or like they're morphed together rather than just sitting on top of each other it creates a better look and it just really looks much nicer Now we're going to go in and use our Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in a lot of shade that they have, which is light pale. Now guys, this is a really good concealer to use for cut creases. I would recommend not using as much product that I put on because it does tend to turn the concealer a bit sticky, which makes it not dry as fast. But if you end up using as much product as I did, it's totally fine. You just have to wait a little bit longer for it to dry. I didn't, so I ended up having to go back in and fixing some mistakes, but it definitely is really good. You guys can also use this concealer as a primer. Since it's super light, it's also really good for pigments as well. But you guys can just see, um, since I have smaller eyelids, I didn't want to make the cut crease too big because then it would be too dramatic. And when you lift your eyes up, it doesn't look as nice as it does when your eyes are sitting still. So I'm just following the shape of my eyes. And I'm outlining and I'm cutting that crease with my flat head brush and I'm gonna just really pretty much just start drawing on my eyes right over that dark blue I'm not covering the entire blue because I do want that shadow to still show I put it there for a reason so as you guys can just go ahead and see I'm filling in all the areas that might not look as white as the other parts and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for the second eye as well So now I am going back in with my lighter blue eyeshadow and wherever the concealer started to smudge on my eyes I'm just going ahead and I'm putting that lighter blue eyeshadow on top of it without putting it fully on my concealer or like my eyelids so I'm gonna do this for this eye and I can see that there was a little smudging on the next eye as well so I'm gonna do it on that eye as well and I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the entire area because with a look like this so intricate and so detailed 
you do want it to look as nice as you envisioned it and you do want it to have that same kind of dramatic effect to it the reason why we cut the crease is so it could be more dramatic so we just have to clean it up put more eyeshadow on it and that's easily now how you I'm fix it in with my back to brazil palette by bh cosmetics and that lighter blue that i had used to cut my crease and that i put on top of my eyeshadow i'm gonna go ahead and pack that in the middle so before i start blending i usually just pack those colors in and then i blend them all together it makes it so much easier for me personally if you have a different method hey whatever floats your boat different strokes different folks but that was my sister rebecca in the back i specifically told her don't come inside and she did she's so funny but um it did make for some good entertainment now i do now i am going to apply that darker blue on the corners on the outskirts of that light blue as you guys can see i haven't blended anything yet i'm literally just packing it on now i took my flathead brush again and i put this really pretty violet purple onto my brush and this was in the bh cosmetics as well the palette the back to brazil it was kind of like a violet bluish purple which was really cool and i just put that on the ends and then i literally just started to pretty much fill in around the shape of that cut crease that i did on the inside of that cut crease and i just started to fill that in mind you guys i haven't blended anything yet here we go now i'm doing a little blending because you still want it to show you want to add a little more blue as well you know just add as directed if you want more blue if you want it to do be a little more poppy go ahead if you want to give it really that oomph factor just go ahead and um you know apply as directed now I am going in with, I went back to my Morphe 350 palette. There's this really white shimmery color that I used for the inside of my eye. Just because with a look like this, I don't want to put too much color since I have already so much color. So the best transition for me to do was to use that white, then transition to the baby blue, to the darker blue, to that violet purple when y'all see me i'm feeling myself at this point i knew that this look was a done bun i had to find somewhere to go so i'm just continuing to do the same thing with the left eye so just guys repeat the steps as directed and you will be perfectly fine for the next eye <laughs> Tu dois vraiment danser en, danser, danser en, impossible style. Et si t'as pas d'argent, tu dois danser, 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 danser en, impossible style. Tu dois danser, 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 danser en impossible style. Si t'as un malaise, tu dois danser, 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 danser en impossible style. Si t'as plus de meuf, tu dois vraiment danser en danser, danser en impossible style. Et si t'as pas d'argent, tu dois danser, 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 danser en Now I'm just gonna go in with those last finishing touches of the eyeshadow. I really wanna make it look clean, so I'm there taking my brush again, and I'm cleaning up all the little areas that was smudged. Um, 
that seem to transfer as far as the concealer and I'm just blending it in. I'm using the same brush that I used, the blending brush that I used to put that orange on and I'm placing it right back on top of the orange and I'm gonna do the same thing with the blue brush. Now, just to really give it that sharp look, I am cleaning around the edges of the wing with the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color Fawn. Now, in my opinion, you do want to use the same color as your skin tone or the same color that you are using as your concealer, just because it does blend in better with your foundation. Now that we are all done with that step, the last step before we put the lashes on would be with a look like this to put liquid eyeliner. Now I am using the matte liquid liner by NYX. This is one of the best liquid liners I've ever tried personally because it does stay really inky but it dries fast and the look is amazing. Now I know wing liners are usually really hard so what I did was I followed the wing of the cut crease that I had already created and then I just followed it and I brought it from the back to the front. So then you guys are going to do that for this eye and you are going to do it for the next eye as well. And just totally watch how it just transforms this look. Don't need the Photoshop. The waistline just got me calling. I don't want no drama. I just want to be with you. Don't want no trouble. I just want to rock with you. I don't know y'all. But you know, say the body no be fire. You the cause why I lie. Make a brother man die like a fire. So wine for the boy, wine for the boy. Move for the boy, move for the boy. I should be dance for the boy, dance for the boy. See you make a man who wants more. Say wine for the boy, wine for the boy. Move for the boy, move for the boy. I should be dance for the boy, dance for the boy. So last but not least, I'm applying the Ardell lashes in the foaming style 811 so i'm just gonna go ahead and put those on both of my eyes i love these ones they're absolutely my favorite and i'm using the duo glue which dries the lashes in half the time making it really easy to go on now i'm gonna go underneath my eyes with that same light and dark blue kind of i did a mix and i'm gonna go ahead and put that underneath my eyes just to give my eyeshadow that more dramatic effect in my opinion it makes me look mysterious so i really love that part i'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out and the next step will be to put mascara on our under eyes some people would use like a white shadow i just went and stuck with the mascara i am using the mama Mali mascara. This is super dark and really pigmented. So for the lips, I am going to outline my lips with a brown lip liner. I got this lip liner from the hair store. I am doing an overlay on my lips just because my lips are pretty small. So I do want to just provide it with that plumpness and that fullness that would really look nice with a kind of ombre lip. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use the matte lipstick by Bare Minerals in the color Swag. And you guys are gonna see how I just really blend that out and make that really nice. But then I am going to top it off with a Clarins lip oil. I know you guys are probably thinking like lip oil, yes. So it can be used as a gloss while providing treatment to your lips at the very same time. So this is the final look. I hope you guys found this tutorial to be helpful, but also be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and to all of my creators out there. Continue to be who God says you are and continue to change the world. Until next time. When them see me the party, every girl I get naughty. The girl them me saucy. 